Assalamu alaikum. My name is Maryam Tahir Ahmed and my role number is BP1650124 and I'm from 5th air morning. The drug assigned to me is Depiroxamine. Depiroxamine is also known as Desperioxamine and it is sold under the brand name of Despiral. It is a medication that binds with both aluminium and iron. It is produced by the removal of trivalent iron moiety from Peroxamine B and it is produced by the actinomyces streptomyces pilosus. The rational use or indication of Desviral is that it is a chelating agent and it is indicated for the treatment of acute iron intoxication and chronic iron overload due to the transfusion dependent anemias and it is also used for the treatment of aluminium uh, toxicity. Now, the mechanism, uh, mechanism of action of defiroxamine is that it treats the iron poisoning by binding the trivalent iron and forms a perioxamine, which is a stable complex and is then eliminated from the kidney, thus reducing the iron levels from the body. The drug-drug interactions are with vitamin C, prochlorpyrazine, gallium-67, calcium ascorbate, and technetium TC-19 oxydronate. The, with vitamin C, the patients with iron overload they become uh, vitamin c deficient because the iron oxidizes uh, vitamin uh, if we uh, do the concurrent treatment of desferal and prochlorpyrazine then it may lead to temporary impairment of consciousness uh, gallium 67 if uh, we do not stop or discontinue desferal 48 hours prior to the uh, scintigraphy then uh, the imaging results become distorted the, in the presence of calcium ascorbate and defiroxamine, the severity of cardiovascular impairment increases and uh, defiroxamine also decreases the effectiveness of technetium tc 99 m oxydronate as a diagnostic agent. Defiroxamine is available as both oral tablets and vials. In vials, it is available as defiroxamine my, uh, mycelate USP containing 500 mg and 2 grams of vials. Defiroxamine is available in the following trade names in Pakistan. In the dosage form of injection, it is available as Desperol and it is manufactured by Novartis Pharma and its retail price is 2,169. And in the tablet dosage form, it is available under the brand name Osviral and it is available as 125, 250 and 500 milligram tablets. And it is manufactured by the Next Step Pharma and its retail price is 7,280 rupees. The dosage forms that is that are available of the defiroxamine are oral tablets, intramuscular injections, intravenous injections, and subcutaneous bolus. Now we use oral tablet only when there is very acute iron poisoning because of the reason that defiroxamine is very poorly absorbed from the GIT, thus it is very less bioavailable. So we only use the oral tablets uh, when there is a very acute iron uh, case of acute iron poisoning. Intramuscular injections. This dosage form is used when the pa uh, patient is not in shock. Uh, then it is used in a dose of 1000 uh, milligram initially and then it is followed by 500 milligram every 4 hour for 2 doses. Intravenous injection, uh, this route is used for patients which are in a state of cardiovascular collapse and then only by slow infusion. The rate of infusion should not exceed 15 milligram per kg per hour for the first 1000 milligram administered. If any subsequent IV doses is needing, then it must be at slower rate, not exceeding 125 mg per hour. Subcutaneous, bo uh, subcutaneous bolus is used when the infusions are not tolerated or the infusion pump is not available and also if the patient is not at high risk of heart disease. Uh, for some of the irrational uses of defiroxamine are that it cannot be given to children below 3 years of age. It cannot be used for the treatment of primary hemochromatosis since uh, we use phlebotomy to cure that uh, to, for the treatment of uh, primary hemochromatosis. Uh, phlebotomy is the surgical opening or puncture of a vein in order to withdraw the blood. This drug is also not given to uh, pregnant women as the suitable data is still not available. Defiroxamine toxicity, the toxicities related to defiroxamines are very rare, uh, especially the ocular toxicity, but still it is uh, suitable that we do regular ophthalmic screening uh, so that uh, early detection of the retinal toxicity can be done and thus we can prevent the uh, long-term retinal toxicities. 
toxicity antidote there is no specific toxicity antidote for defiroxamine but its toxic effects can be reduced by reducing the duration of dfo infusion and by supportive therapies such as emesis or gastric leverage the two alternatives that we have for defiroxamine are actually oral dosage forms which are defiri uh, defiri prone and defiri cyrox defiri uh, prone is available under the brand name feri prox and defiri cyrox is available under the brand name exdate they both are iron chelators but they are both oral and thus they are approved for the pediatrics and they are used to treat iron overload in the thalassemia major the case study uh, that we have is a father returns to emergency department with his 3 year old daughter stating she is worse she had been evaluated about 12 hours earlier at which time she had presented with three episodes of vomiting physical examination at the time was unremarkable and the patient was discharged as gastroenteritis with routine instructions for vomiting the patient's father reports that she seemed fine and had no further emesis until about an hour ago At that time, she began to complain of severe abdominal pain. Over the next 45 minutes, she became more lethargic and now is difficult to arouse. In response to astute questioning about recent ingestions, he relates that she was found playing with an empty bottle of her mother's prenatal vitamins about an hour before her initial vomiting began. Her temperature was 100 degrees Fahrenheit, respiration rate was 30 breaths per minute, heart rate 144 BPM, BP was 45 per palpitations, and weight of the patient was 44 pounds. Her abdominal examination showed mild diffuse tenderness with no peritoneal signs, and lab studies showed uh, arterial blood gas uh, as 7.12, 90, 22, and 9. CBC test report showed WBC 18,300, hemoglobin 8.9. Hematocrit as 26 percent, electrolytes were were sodium 135, chloride 98, potassium 4.5, bicarbonate 8, and glucose level was 54 milligram per deciliter, and blood urea nitrogen 38. The subjective chief complaint is loss of consciousness. History of complaint is the age of the patient is three years, gender is female, medical history is three episodes of vomiting 12 hours earlier, and the additional symptoms we have that we have are lethargy and abdominal pain. objective uh, vital signs observations can be seen that we have weight 44 pounds temperature 100 degree fahrenheit which is elevated respiratory rate is also high that is 30 breaths per minute bp is very low that is 45 per palpitations and heart rate is 144 beats per minute which is again very high laboratory tests shown are uh, arterial blood gas we have ph 7.12 uh, partial pressure of oxygen 90 partial pressure of carbon dioxide 22 and base excess deficit 9 the wbc count is 18300 per microliter which is again higher than the normal range hemoglobin is lower than the normal range it is 8.9 g per deciliter hematocrit is 26% which is again lower than the normal range so uh, electrolyte sodium chloride and potassium are all the threes are in the normal ranges bicarbonate is 8 meq per liter which is again very low and glucose is 50 more mg per deciliter again lower than the normal range and blood urea nitrogen 38 mg per deciliter which is very high than the normal range now from the laboratory findings the assessment that we made was that low levels of ph partial pressure of carbon dioxide and bicarbonate indicate metabolic acidosis and high blood urea nitrogen levels indicate shock both this metabolic acidosis and indicate uh, the shock are the third stage of iron poisoning thus we can rule out that the patient is suffering from iron poisoning very high levels of wbc is also indicate an uh, and disease condition and low levels of hemoglobin and hematocrit present the risk of gi bleeding which can again uh, be a cause of iron poisoning the plan that we provide is that first of all we treat the patient's hypotension by treating the patient immediately with an iv fluid of 20 mg per kg of normal saline then we run a kidney ure, uh, ureter and bladder film to, as to so as to confirm the diagnosis of iron poisoning Uh, along with the film we also run a serum iron concentration test which is very essential in case of iron poisoning uh, and if the sic levels are found to be greater than 500 mg per deciliter then we immediately go towards the defiroxamine infusion which should be administered at a dose of 15 mg per kg per hour as a continuous infusion since the patient uh, since a patient is of 3 years of age we can go towards the defiroxamine 
explain uh, due to the low levels of hemoglobin and hematocrit we'll also do a searching for gi bleeding and if it is found then uh, appropriate measures will be taken and these are the references and thank you